Yeah, I'm not sure. Spanish? Oh. Indian, I reckon. Indian? Indian. In Indian. Indian? Italian? Spanish? Italian. Italian. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all. Mm. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Do we have tapas for dinner? Mm. Or curry for dinner? Degrees, mate. I went to the corner shop in just my swimmers last night. Oh, it's nice. so hard, mate. It was, yeah. yeah. Welcome back to Cobweb Garage. Just in case you wondered what that intro was all about, there's been a lot of chat uh, comments on our last video about where the scooter was made. Originally, we thought it was Indian. Uh, so many comments saying it's Spanish. I mean, odd comment saying they thought it might be Italian. Reasoning behind it being Spanish was because of the eye bar badge. But we were saying that, like, you know, you could have changed that. And we do know for a fact that it was a different colour once. Yes. And actually the badge is a bit wonky. He's sticking off the edge there. <laughs> so it's been resprayed. Yeah, could have put a different horn cover with the badge. Anything could happen. Still not convinced yet. I mean, hopefully once we give, give it a good clean up, we'll be about to look at the frame number and the engine number. And that should tell us. But keep commenting. Let us know what you think it is. So we are going to start off this video with giving the scooter a good clean. I'm going to take it outside in a little bit and jet wash it off. But we're going to loosen up some of this grime. So I'm just spraying the old fave gunk. It's absolutely caked on in places. So I've got a trusty toothbrush and you can just see there, look, going to loosen it all up. The Karcher pressure washer I've got is just a cold water pressure washer. So I think it's good to just loosen all this caked on grime first before hitting it with the pressure washer. You can see that degreaser working there, look. Here we are, ready to jet wash. Go for it.
we're full of water now. Wow, Just look at all the muck that came off. And the big surprise is, is it green? Is it green or is it black? That looks green. <laughs> It looks black now, but it was definitely green under the pressure. Wash, isn't yeah. It? Still debating this colour. Back to black now. It's back to black. black. <laughs> back to black. I don't know. I can see a green tinge. So I'm not sure. You got your green tinge glasses on, Scott. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> glasses on. Um. Don't know. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna face this next, or Justin is, mm. and he's brought his tools. Yeah, so we're gonna give it a smack. Oof. Okay. Out there. Right. And okay. then this bit here will be nice and tight, won't it? So hopefully, yeah, that we can dolly it, probably dolly on the outside, and then a rounded face on the inside. Great. Okay. Well, I'm guessing see. we're not looking for perfection, but just. To, to, um, It'd be nice to put my, my leg in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know? Stood back. Oh, there, there's a little one there, isn't it? Yeah. Tap that back in. It's where the um, where the the runners are on the inside. I think. Yeah. We can probably just get that a little. Nice. Yeah, I think that's all right, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Way quicker than I thought. That didn't take too long, really, did it? I might just strain this little bit right here as well. I think it should be straight out like that. He's gone in along uh, there. Ah, so yeah, true. Push out with the dog. We could do with a new trim for this, can we? Yeah, you can really see where that's sort of. <laughs> yeah, because it's not even. The, whole chunk off there, isn't it? the parts have arrived, mainly from Scootopia, which is obviously just down the road from us, our Western Supermare. And I can't even remember. I'm guessing that's tyres in there. Where did that come from? Not sure. Oh, Cambridge Lambretta. Tyre-wise, just gone for the classic Michelin's 350x10s. Look fairly original, should be nice. I think I've gone uh, for the Scootopia inner tubes, because I found that the uh, valves are kind of the right angle to suit. A wig spot? Yeah. Air filter we've got there. Two inner tubes. Gasket. Exhaust gasket. That is exhaust gasket. Smart plug. One of those. 
That's in, what's that? What is that? Oh, he's all he's all stud nuts. That's confusing me. Ah, no, that is for your um, air intake. Oh, on yeah, the top, the yeah. little cow thing. Cow thing, yeah. Right, yeah. And, uh, yeah, stand feet. We need those, don't we? Stand feet. <laughs> Stop us rolling down the hill. And oil. 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 Gearbox oil. Last but not least, something that says Scootopia. What have we got on there? Oh, fast flow petrol tap. Fantastic. Right, so next thing is to get these all on the scoop. So Justin's just cleaning up bits we forgot to clean up with a pressure yeah, washer. Yeah. Found a problem. Filter, which is cracked and we forgot to order that, but actually. Oh yeah, there is a hole there, yeah. It'll do for now. So Justin's cleaning that up and I am going to change the oil. And if you remember on last episode, we found out the clutch is kind of frozen. So we're going to change the oil and then hopefully at some point just try and unfree that clutch. I have shown this before a couple of times on the channel. Oil change. First thing you need to undo this down here. Still got knuckles, Scott. You still got knuckles. Yeah. There we go. You know what? Doesn't look too bad. There was oil in there. Then. There was oil in there, and no gunge on the, the plug either, which is like a magnetic thing, so it picks up all the bits. I'm just going to take this third plug out, which is. Point you fill it to. Justin has cleaned up the plug as well, crankcase plug, so we're going to refill this. I did buy some new washers, put that on, that goes back down at the bottom there. As we fill this top one with oil we just need to watch for the middle hole, and once it start, starts coming out of there then we know there's enough oil in there. Handy little funnel there to stop the oil going absolutely everywhere. Middle plug going back in, oil's just started to come out of there. There's three fixings that hold the air filter in, two of these Allen key bolts which go in the top. We've got two new ones of those, if you remember from the last episode, there was one missing, and then there's one bolt, a little nut in the bottom with a captive, well, a bolt that just kind of wobbles around in there, I think, which is super awkward to get to. shiny new bolts. Right, well, we're going to replace this petrol tap. We got a fast flow unit from Scootopia. First thing is going to pull out the cotter pin, which is a bit tricky to get to. But Justin's just holding the throttle back, which gives you a little bit more access. That's it. That's, that's the cotter pin out. And obviously we haven't got much fuel in this Tank, so we're hoping we can just lean the scooter over. <laughs> It'll run down that side. And whip this off and fit the new one on. Yeah, how far can you safely lean it? Good. Yep. Like that. All right. Is this going to piss petrol everywhere? It is a little, a little oh, it's not too bad. A little bit gunky. Do we have an issue here? Like this not actually fitting through the hole? All right, it's going in. I think slowly. Yeah, cool bit. Okay, it seems to be good. It's not leaking or anything. So we're gonna just try and put this petrol tap back on. Do you want to just pull the throttle and then I'll just get a bit more space in there. Right, well, that's got the petrol tap in and the bars connected. I'm just going to try and refit this 
fuel line, which is crusty as you like. Okay, here a bit of a issue here. We've got the new fast flow petrol tap on there. Won't get any petrol out. And yeah, the thing is blocked up in the carburetor, the filter there. Don't forget this had a lot of gunge in it. So we are still getting some gunk out of the tank. Anyway, gonna clean that out. going to put these new stand feet on as well. This one's completely missing. The other side's a bit knackered. I've never done this before. I think they just push on and then you knock this pin in. I'll tell you what, that snapped off, yeah. <laughs> hey. What the lava? See, that's really completely worn through, isn't it? There, anyway. You reckon we should be able to just feel? Hey. Yeah, as easy as that. I'm just going to change this spark plug. I guess we can do it properly and check the gap as well, mate. See if this is going to start again. Is there uh, fuel? Put the fuel right on, I reckon. Yeah. That should be on. Let's see if it's going to start. Did he? He liked the choke, didn't it? Death. Yeah, 
obviously the clutch is still seized. It felt like it was a little bit more than last time. Um, just, just see what. <laughs> yeah, I shove it back down. Let's put it in four. Can we have? Yeah, that's just um, turning over, isn't it? Yeah, it's turning over. But... Right, try again. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely locked up. When you put a clutch in, it should, obviously, not turn the engine over. But it obviously still is. Just wondering whether we do just ride it down the street. With the engine getting warmed up, it might release. Something might have happened there. Yeah, I think that was promising, wasn't it? Yes, it's freed. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's freed. Look, that's him first. Is Touch it? Me. Oh! But the clutch is working. That's good. I think that's a fuel issue now. Just needs enough petrol to get through to the car, and we'll be laughing, oh, yeah. won't we? And like, he doesn't like the choke off. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I, mean, I think we need a new, new fuel tank that's not full of crap. Yeah, yeah. And then if we clean it out and put some fuel in, then hopefully it'll, um, it'll yeah. run a bit better. That clutch has definitely come back to life. That's it for this episode of Cobweb Garage. One step closer to seeing this Lambretta back on the road. Got quite a bit done today. Major thing uh, was the clutch. That seems to be released now. We put that new fuel tap on the fuel tank, although it looks like there's still quite a bit of sediment coming out of the fuel tank. We're gonna order a new one of those for next time. We've done a bit of a service, changed the crankcase oil, new spark plug. We've put some new feet on the center stand, so it doesn't wobble anymore. And of course, we fixed the dent in the leg shield. Justin is busy taking the seat off because we're gonna get this bit seen to. I mean, it may be someone could just sort of stitch that back together again, but anyway, that is gonna be looked at for next time. Oh, new air filter we put in as part of the service as well. And we're a bit of a shopping list. New fuel tank, we're gonna get some new fuel line as well, because that old fuel line was really brittle, not sealing very well. We're gonna get a few bits of trim. We saw earlier in the video, this bit is so scraped up and scratched, it's got through to the metal there. And also some of the floorboard runners have come away and are broken, etc. So we're gonna get a new set of those. Hopefully try and get some new flashes for the side panels as well. Uh, and some new grips. And then on the next episode, we are gonna take it for a proper test drive. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. We do have merchandise for sale. Check that out, there's a link below. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.